A train leaves Meerut at 5 a.m. and reaches Delhi at 9 a.m. Another train leaves Delhi at 7 a.m. and reaches Meerut at 10.30 a.m. At what time do the two trains travel in order to cross each other? At what time do the two trains cross each other? So if you, if you understand, he says there is one train which, which leaves Meerut at 5 a.m. and reaches Delhi at 9 a.m. There is another train which leaves Delhi, the other station, at 7 a.m. and reaches Meerut at 10.30 a.m. So obviously these two trains will cross each other because the route is same, right? Let's say this is Meerut and here is Delhi, right? Meerut and Delhi. So one train leaves from Meerut for Delhi. The other train leaves from Delhi for Meerut. So this train has left at what time? 5 a.m. Right? And it reaches at what time? 9 a.m. Right? It takes 4 hours. So basically it takes 4 hours to cover this distance, right? The total distance let's say is D. Total distance is D. If you look at the other train which left Delhi, to you know reach Meerut, uh, it, it started at what time? It started at 7 a.m. and it reached Meerut at 10.30 a.m. Right? 10.30 a.m. So what's the total time required here? 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. It is three and a half hours, right? While the first one took four hours, 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. Four hours. Here it takes three and a half hours, right? 3.5 hours. It takes 3.5 hours. Now, one point that all of us need to understand is See, if you, if you look at the starting times, this train started at 5 a.m., right? The second train started only at 7 a.m., which means for the first two hours, let's say this is like train A and train B. This is train A and this is train B, right? Let's assume. So the, for the first two hours, only train A was traveling. This is the path. For the first two hours, only the train A was traveling, right? From 5 a.m. to 7 a.m., no other train was traveling. Only train A was traveling. We know that the train A takes four hours to cover the full distance. Train A takes 4 hours to cover from Meerut to Delhi. So in 2 hours, it will definitely cover half of the distance. D by 2 will be covered. Which means at 7 a.m., both, I mean, A at A is at this junction in the middle and B is at this junction at 7 a.m. I mean, train B is here. It's just starting, right? B is starting from Delhi at 7 a.m. And the train A is halfway at 7 a.m. And now these two trains have to cover a distance D by D together. You're able to follow. The two trains together will cover a distance of what? D by D. This is what needs to be covered. So if you if you see the actual path of D has been reduced to D by D. Why? Because only one train was traveling for half of the time. Now the simple point that we need to you know work on here. I mean, all that I've explained here so far can be done mentally. You don't have to draw the diagram and all that. It's, it's simple, right? 5 a.m., 9 a.m., 7 a.m., 10 30 a.m. So for the first two hours, only this train was traveling. And then this train actually takes four hours. So in two hours of time, we can cover half of the distance. Now remaining half has to be covered. Remaining half will be covered by the two trains together, right? And the point now is seven a.m. Right? It is seven a.m. now. Now, if you if you look at it, uh, you know speed ratios of these two trains. Like like for example, I can say that speed of A is equal speed is distance by time, right? So d by four. And speed of B equals to D by 3.5. Yes or no? Speed is equal to distance by time. Distance travel is D, time taken is 4 hours. For B, the distance travel is D and time taken is 3.5 hours. I mean, to cover the distance C, it takes only 3 hours. So we have got the speeds there in terms of distances, of course, D by 4 and D by 3.5. And, and you can also find out the ratios if you want. Okay? Now, uh, now how do you solve it? The total distance to be covered by both the trains is d by 2. Right? Total distance to be covered by both the trains is d by 2. I, you, you will cut down all these steps in the exam. I mean, you, in fact, whatever I have put so far is not needed for solving the question. Just, just look at uh, this point now. Right? The distance to be covered. I am talking about second part. Distance to be covered is d by 2. Right? Now, what is distance? Distance is equal to speed into time. Right? Distance is equal to speed into time. So, I can say this d by 2. See, this d by 2 is covered by two trains together. D by 2 is covered by two trains together, train A and train B, right, together. Let's assume they, whenever they meet, whenever they cross each other, I mean, they take T hours for that. They take T hours for that, right? So if you see, D by 2 is equal to distance covered by A plus distance covered by B. It's like distance covered by A plus distance covered by B in the second half, right, in the second half. Okay. Now how can you find out the distance covered by A? Distance is equal to speed into time. What is speed of A? D by 4 into time is T. 
plus distance covered by b. What is this uh, distance covered by b? Distance is equal to speed into time. What is speed of b? d by 3.5. Time is t. You, you are getting it. It is 7 a.m. At 7 a.m., a is at this point. At the same time, 7 a.m., b is at this point. Whenever the two trains meet each other, at whichever point they meet, the time taken by the first train, a, to reach that meeting point will be equal to time taken by the second train to reach the meeting point. You remember the So I am saying that that time is t. It's, it's simple. I mean, if you are getting confused, just imagine yourself at this point. You are A and I am B. This is Delhi. You're getting it? This is like Meera Right? Here yeah, we have Delhi. We are talking about A and B. So B, A is at this point, B is at this point. And then the time now is 7 a.m. Let's say they meet somewhere in between, right? Somewhere in this park. Now, when both of us meet, let's say the time in my watch is 8.30. What will the time in your watch? 8.31. Which means if I have taken one half hours to reach this point, you also have taken one half hours. Both of us started together. See, that is the reason we have first cut this half of the distance. Because I want the starting time to be same for both the persons. So we have moved A to a point when it is 7 a.m. We also have that 7 a.m. So both of them started together at the meeting point, time taken will be same. So that time I am assuming is T. Right? That time we are assuming is T. Now solve for T here. Right? Distance to be covered was D by 2, which will be covered by both A and B. Distance covered by A plus distance covered by B. Distance is equal to speed into time. So speed of A is D by 4, time taken is T. Speed of B is D by 3.5, time taken is T. So D anyway gets cancelled. What do we get? We get 1 by 2 equals to T by 4 plus T by 3.5, which can be taken as uh, uh, 2T by 7. Which can be taken as 2T by 7. Now solve for T here. Solve for T. I mean, this solution will give the final answer, right? Solve for T. So I think 1 by 2 is LCM, uh, 1 by 2. What is LCM here? 28. So we can say this goes 7 times, 7T plus, uh, this goes 4 times, like 8T. So overall, what do we get? Uh, t is equal to 28. 7 and 8 is 15, 15 into 30. 28 by 30. 28 by 30 hours, understand. 28 by 30 hours. Or if you have to convert this to minutes, 28 by 30 hours. See, we have been dealing with hours only, right? I mean, time is like, like 4 hours and 3.5 hours, right? We have taken 4 hours, 4 hours and 3.5 hours. So anyway, the time that you get will be in hours, 28 by 30 hours, which you have to convert to minutes. Convert to minutes, what do, you, what do you do? 28 by 30 into 60, right? I mean, I don't have space here, but you know that 28 by 30 into 60. When you multiply by 60, this gets converted to minutes. So into 60, when you do, 30 goes 2 times, 28 into 2 is 56. 56 minutes. So the time taken by the two trains to meet in between is 56 minutes. 56 minutes. That's it. They started at 7 a.m. They meet after 56 minutes. They both the trains started at uh, 7 a.m. They meet after 56 minutes. So obviously the time at the meeting point at the junction will be 756. That's your answer. Option C is your answer. 756. Please do not go by the length of the explanation. This is a very typical uh, and, and common question type from time and distance. The point here is the number of steps that you write on paper, right? When you solve it, you don't draw this diagram and all this stuff, right? I mean, all this can be understood mentally. First train takes four hours, second train takes three and a half hours. The second train started two hours late. In that two hours, half of the distance is covered. You don't even have to, I mean, maybe you write just d by 4 and d by 3.5. This also can be avoided in mind, right? This can be avoided. You, you actually start from this equation onwards. Getting it? You actually start writing the solution on paper from this equation onwards. All you have to do is solve this equation. d by 2 equals to d by 4 into t plus d by 3.5 into t. And you get the answer as 7.6.